What's going on? We are here live on Belle Isle in Detroit at the Motor City Mile, and I'm joined by a special guest. We have Rob Butcher from Swim Across America. Thanks for being here joining us on the show. Yeah, thanks for having me here. I really appreciate you guys running out the Chamber of Commerce weather for us today. I've heard 19 years that they've had this swim going. Never an issue with weather. Never an issue with rain. Just for you to come in. We come today, and what do we have? We have rain, but now it's opening up. It's uh, the Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> awesome. So, so tell me about Swim Across for America, it's sort of at a high level, and then how you got involved with the organization. Yeah, so SAA was started in 1987, three decades ago, and we're a charity swim model. So we put on charity swims with all the proceeds from that swim, staying in that community in order to fund cancer research at a major institution in that community. So since our founding, we put over $75 million in cancer research. That's amazing. And, and so tell me about your involvement here in Detroit. Uh, so Shannon Dunworth, who's a legend here, started this swim 19 years ago. We're out of games against Randy and Blue Scott, so we started having some conversations. And Shannon was looking at legacy planning on this event. How does he make it more impactful to the community? And so as we got to talk for over several months, we got to know each other. And we just realized that our values lined up. Culturally, they lined up. And what he really wanted and the vision he had and what the foundation he's created here, um, he looked to us and said, can you guys bring your charity swim model? So we uh, we worked it out. And so in 2019, this swim is going to be rebranded the Swim Across America Motor City Mile. That's amazing. I like the, I like the ring of that. Yeah. That. And so how many swims are you guys running right now? So that would be number 20 for us, 20 in a calendar year. We have a bunch of local swims as well, yep. pool swims as we call them. There's probably around 100 across the country. But those provide opportunities for clubs can dedicate a practice. But in terms of the bigness, the pageantry, yeah. um, swims that raise more than 100,000, typically up to three, four, five hundred thousand wow. dollars 500000 By the way, with only about 200 to 400 swimmers. Wow. It's not like it's a you know a 5K running event where you got 10,000 people. Right, right. So we put on we put on a safety swim. We haven't had a safety issue in three decades, and uh, so we'll bring our fundraising charity model to the table here. And Shannon's really excited. We partnered by the way with the University of Michigan, it's awesome. the Robel Cancer Center. Yep. So the funding is going to go there and stay with the, the Greater Detroit community. And can you tell me about like the impact? You know, so what the why behind all of this? You know, the why in the 1980s, if you were diagnosed with cancer, and by the way, in the time that you and I are talking, 50 Americans will be diagnosed with cancer. It's close to 5,000 Americans a day are diagnosed with cancer. So it affects, it touches everybody, is over 1.7 million people a year that are diagnosed with cancer. And so um, in the 1980s, the only options you really had were surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation. And the swimming community, being innovators, looked yeah. at it and said, we think we can come together and we think we can we can do a charity model yeah. that can provide funds so that it can be more alternatives. You know, the, thing is, the three words you want to hear are not, the three words you don't want to hear are you have cancer. Yeah. But if you do, if you do, the three words you want to hear are there is hope. Yeah. And so through Swim Across America and through the funding that our participants, our volunteers, our corporate sponsors are helping us raise, we are we're angel funding if you angel seeding into institutions like University of Michigan and Memorial Sloan Kettering and MD Anderson. Ideas that they have to fight cancer might only be on a whiteboard and never go off a whiteboard. But our thousands and tens of thousands of dollars of funding allow them to come off the whiteboard and turn into real cures and real treatments to get more Americans so. hope. That's amazing. And maybe talk about your two years I think you've been in the organization now and before that with U.S. Masters swimming, you know, how did I guess your swimming background and involvement with all these different organizations help you, you know, get to where you are now and, and impact the organization? Yeah. So uh, as I I swim at a small little direction. Yeah. You had the word Southern on the end of it uh, down in Georgia, and I would have never in a lifetime imagined that I would be working and having an impact in the swimming uh, space. And so when I was hired with USMS in 2007, 2008. Um, I really enjoyed it, but I was also looking for an opportunity to have greater impact. I lost my mom to cancer. Um, we've all been touched and we've been impacted by it. So I was looking for a way to be able to give back. And I was also looking for a way to bring um, more of a service, community, philanthropy mindset to USMS. And so Janelle Jorgensen was the CEO of US uh, Swim Across America. She approached me. I joined the board of directors. And so that's when I got to really know the organization and realize I can have it. When she stepped down, the board of directors asked me. Start January 1st of 2016, and, and here we are. And I hope this is hope this is the last place I, I'm at. That's awesome. And what are some of the biggest milestones I guess you had? Where do you see you know, projecting out in the future? Where's the goals and aspirations? 
Yeah, so swim across America, if nothing changed in the next decade, we would grant $50 million off wow. of our model. Uh, That's but, amazing. But we have a vision to be able to grant $100 million. And so to move from 15 charity swims to about 25, to create that fundraising basic, you know, to be able to provide, ideally, we want to get to about 300 million. Yeah. So this year's going to be probably about seven and a half. So we're making progress in that goal. And the reason we're here is just because um, so many institutions are turning to us and saying, your funding is whether it's the University of Michigan or whether it's parts of the country we're not in right now, yeah. the Southwest, for example, or yeah. you know the Arizonas of the world, or even more some more the Midwest, um, where there are main and major cancer institutions where our funding can have a huge, huge impact. Um, we've played a role in uh, multiple gene therapies, um, you know, immunotherapy treatments that are out there near Optivo, Uruguay, Petruda. We played a major role in the clinical trial funding for all those before they ever became FDA approved, before they were able to help patients. That's amazing. And I guess if someone wants to get involved, like what are the, the beginning steps that they can learn more and get involved? First thing is go to swimacrossamerica.org. Um, everything is there. The website's only about 25 pages. We'll link it. It'll be linked everywhere. Yeah. You can just click on open water or pool swim, and it'll take you to our full calendar. Uh, there are opportunities. There are corporate partner opportunities. Uh, there are participant opportunities. Uh, Initially, you and I were talking about this earlier, our sponsor model. And, you know, we don't do that gold, silver, bronze. Yeah, it's unique. Yeah, what we do is we go to companies and say, would you be willing to support a group of your employees? Maybe it's a company. Maybe it's a math. Raise 5,000, match it with 5. If they raise 10, match it with 10. Wherever your comfort level is. And so our belief is that creates more of an organic nature. Yeah. And then you got employee engagement, you got employees getting active, you got them experiencing swimming and doing yeah. something for greater cause with it. And people are more empowered to get involved in Absolutely. that Absolutely. organization. And, and we found companies are willing to come back under that model because yeah. it's not just writing a check and not having more any level of participation or buying. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to share about uh, you know, what you guys are doing? Or Yeah, potentially, we'll see. But any, uh, there's you got a great voice. You got a great, you got a great personality. You got a great platform. How about it? What do you think? Uh, sales, we're breaking news. Uh, Rob, thanks for so, uh, so much for joining us here uh, at the Swim Across America Motor City Mile in Detroit, Michigan. Until next time, we'll see you guys later. Bye.